Hey Zerozakuns, what's up? It's Hiro from Zerozaku and today we'll be learning how to create uh, an trainer in C++. But first there's three things that you'll need. Uh, you'll need an IDE and a compiler. In this case I have NetBeans and Sigwin to compile my C++ project. Next you're going to need Cheat Engine to find the memory address of the value that we're going to find in our program. And the program that we're going to be hacking is the calculator today. Now what we want to know is the memory address of the value that is stored in MS or the memory storage. So MS here is memory store and MR here stands for memory restore. So when we store a value like 20 and hit MS we get this uppercase M in the top left corner that indicates that we have a value stored in our uh, memory storage of the calculator. Meaning that whenever we clear the frame here or say change the value and call memory restore we get the value that was stored in our memory storage of the calculator. Now we want to find the memory address of this so let's uh, first let's bind the process to cheat engine calculator.exe and now we want to scan for this value in our uh, memory storage. So 20, we have to scan for this integer value. And you can see that we have a lot of results and we want to narrow it down. So let's change this value to 30, uh, chain. Enter 30, next scan. And now you see we have two values left. Now I'm going to assume it's this right here. So say let's change it again. Back to 20, and restore, go 20, okay. Let's test this out. See, if this were 40, freeze it to 40. And if we hit memory restore, we should get 40. And so it is this value. We won't be needing that value. And we'll save this address for later. We're going to need this when we write uh, our value into the memory storage of the calculator through C++. So let's try that now. We need to create a new C++ project in our IEE. Next. And let's name it Z Trainer. Alright, let's open up the files that were made for us and empty it out. First, we're going to include the IO stream so that we can see out and see in or write to our. Uh, CLI application or command line interface. Next we have to include windows.h because windows essentially is uh, the operating system that will make calls to the memory address to write into this calculator process. So we're basically going to be using the operating system to edit the memory in the calculator. So we're going to need uh, five functions from windows.h to write into the process of the calculator. First one is find window, and find window is going to uh, find the window handler given the title of the window, which is in this case it's calculator. Next we have uh, get window thread process ID, and what this function will do is find the process ID given the window handler. Uh, found by find window. Next we're going to need to open the process given the process ID found in the previous function so that we can uh, work uh, on memory within the process and in the meat of it all we have write process write process memory camel case of course and this will actually write to this memory address, the value that we want. Finally, we're going to close the handle to the uh, handle to the process that was opened by open process so that we don't have any memory leaks. So let's begin uh, using namespace std. This uh, line will include the standard uh, library so that we don't have to write the tedious form of C out or C in or C error, C log either of those. This is going to be our main function that's going to be 
initiate upon the startup of our application. And we're going to set the new value that we want first, say 500. So we want 500 to be the new value that is stored in the memory storage of the calculator, such that whenever we click memory restore, we want it to be 500 instead of whatever is in, whatever is currently within MS. So say this is 20, and we hit MS, and restore it to 40, or we didn't hit okay. We hit MS again, and now we hit memory restore, it's 40. Oh, because it's uh, frozen by cheat engine, okay. 20, store, restore, okay. So instead of 20, we want the value to be 500. First, we're going to start with a uh, find window. We need to get the window handler to that. We're going to get each wind, the window handler type, find window, zero, and the name of our uh, window, which is calculator. Uh, and we want to check if we cannot find the window. So if each wind is equal to zero, C error, cannot find window. Simple. And the line, and if we do have window, then let's continue our operation. Okay, we're going to declare our process ID, PID, which we're going to retrieve from get window, thread, process, ID. And we're going to pass in the window handler that we have just found and reference to the process ID so that the PID will be assigned the value through get window thread process ID. And with that process ID, we're going to open the process. So handle hproc is equal to open process, open process, all access, because we want access to the memory, false PID. And this will open our process so that we can edit the memory, or write to, or read from the memory. If hproc, we want to check if we got it open. So let's see. Um, if it's not open, then we throw an error, cannot open process. Else we continue our script again. This time we're going to finally write process memory. And this is going to do everything that we need. First we need to pass in process handler. And then now we're going to use that memory address. Using LP void type, we're going to copy paste this memory address so that we can write to it. And uh, this memory address is in hex. And to denote a hex literal, we add zero x to the prefix of the hex value so that the C++ compiler know that it's, knows that it's hex. What's wrong with this? Process. Okay. We don't need that. Okay. okay. So, next we're going to pass a reference to the new value that we want to replace uh, whatever is in here. So it's going to replace this value right here. New value will replace 20. And next we're going to need a D word of the size of our new value so that we know how much memory to write over and null. Now we want to know whether or not what's wrong here. We want to know whether or not this write process memory was successful. So integer is successful. And now we do if is successful greater than zero. Any number greater than zero shows that write process memory was successful. So let's do C log process memory written. End line. 
else, it was probably a failure. So C error. Cannot write process memory. End line. And finally, we're going to close the handle to the each proc so that we don't have memory leaks. Also, we need to return zero because our function returns an integer, of course. So let's save this, uh, try and run it, build, and see if 500 was written into the calculator of the memory storage address. Oh, well, we have some errors. Unknown type, buried binary operator. Just missing a angle bracket, compile, again. This time the build was successful, and the process memory was overwritten. So then, see if we write, if we click on memory restore, we should get 500. And that's it. We have overwritten the value in the calculator through a C++ application within 43 lines. So, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, we'll see you next time. If you'd like to see how to scan memory similar to Cheat Engine rather than just writing process memory.